Okay, hello cloud gurus. That Laura's guy, he's out of here. You got me, I'm Scott Pletcher. And welcome Scott. to Azure. Scott. I'm just doing my job. This is Masha. No, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Azure, it means blue in Spanish, I think. There's cake in the kitchen. Ooh. Coming up on this episode of the show, Microsoft gets themselves some Jedi goodness, Azure pricing is changing globally, and some enormous new virtual machines are being rolled out on Azure. This is Azure This Week, the show that requires 300 virtual CPUs just to get out of bed in the morning. Now, before we get into the tasty Azure news, I wanted to share that my latest course on the A-Cloud Guru platform has just launched. It is the certification course for the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam, which is for super beginners to Azure and cloud computing. The absolute biggest piece of news this week involves a Jedi cloud. As much as I'd love to talk about Star Wars, in this case, Jedi is short for Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure, which is a huge $10 billion cloud computing contract that Microsoft, and thus Azure, has won. I am sure Jedi acronym was entirely coincidental. Now, over the next 10 years, the US Department of Defense will use Azure to host and deploy a range of solutions. In the process, Microsoft beat Oracle, IBM, Google, and finally Amazon to win the deal. And this could turn out to be the largest cloud computing contract ever, and it ends in 2029. Microsoft will, from this week, change the way Azure is priced by basing all prices on US dollars 100%. At first, it will be for all new Azure accounts, but over the coming year, all account will be transitioned. You will still receive your bill in your local currency, but the amounts charged will fluctuate as the exchange rate between your local currency and the US dollar does as well. I like a powerful computer as much as the next nerd. However, there are powerful and then there is completely ridiculous monster superhero material off the chart mind bending powerful. And Azure just got some of those. From this week, Microsoft has started to roll out, so not in all regions yet, their MV2 series virtual machines. They can come with up to 416 virtual CPUs, 12 terabytes of memory, and are certified to use both SAP HANA and SQL Hecaton. Order your MV2 series VM and receive a free lightsaber with every purchase. The entire budget for this week's show was spent on 4.8 seconds of compute time on an Azure MV2 series VM, so now we have to end. As we say on the A-Cloud Guru team when our speeder bikes repulsor lift engine shuts down, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and... You've been awesome, Cloud Gurus.